Hi, my name is Harris. I'm a final year medical student and in this video I'm going to be talking about the application process to Foundation Program. The Foundation Program is the name of the two years you do as a junior doctor once you've qualified for medical school, so F1 and F2. And in this video I'm going to be talking about the whole application process and it's more aimed for final years but obviously anyone watching this can get information from this. So the Foundation Program application is split into two parts. The first part is called the EPM and this is scored out of 50, each part is scored out of 50. The EPM is a measure of your, think of it like your academic performance. So your results at medical school, what decile you're ranking and any previous degrees if you're smart enough for that and on top of that any publications you might have had through research, audits, anything extra you've done at medical school and you get a number out of 50 for that. The second part is something called the SJT, the Situational Judgment Test. This is the other 50 marks, and this is a psychometric test. So this is a national test sat by all final year medical students. You'll either sit it in November or January, and this national exam is 70 questions, about two and a half hours, and it tests how you would respond in certain situations. So this exam split into two types of questions. The first type of question is a ranking question where you're given a scenario and then you rank the answers from the most appropriate to the least appropriate out of five. The other type of question you can expect is choose three best out of these answers. So you're gonna get a scenario, eight answers, and you pick the three most appropriate answers. That's your SJT exam, and that makes up the other 50 marks of your foundation application. When you get to final year, you're also going to have to consider an exam called the Prescribe and Safety Assessment, also known as the PSA. Again, this is a national exam that all medical students sit and it's accredited by the GMC. And this exam tests your prescribing skills to a safe level of that expected of a junior doctor. Now, depending on what medical school you go to, the PSA can be a very important exam or not. Essentially, you have to pass the PSA to be able to prescribe as a junior doctor However, some universities, you're allowed to fail the exam and resit when you become or qualify as a junior doctor, whereas others, if you fail the exam, then you're not allowed to proceed or it's very difficult to proceed on to qualification. So check with your medical school, it'll change, but typically the exam is necessary to pass if you want to prescribe. Okay, so you've done the PSA, you've done your SJT, and you've got your EPM. So now you've got your ranking score, this is a score that you're given out of 100 and all final year medical students are given this. With the score, you're going to pick what region you want and in that particular region, you're going to pick what hospitals and rotations. For example, Hospital X, you might want to do cardiology, surgery and GP. And in second year, you might want to do paediatrics, psychiatry and haematology. So you put that as your top ranking if you want that. You do this until all the rankings are done. Now, this year, the year I'm applying, there's 380 rankings, so you're probably gonna spend a lot of time. So, people tend to do as many as they can cope with before they get bored. So, you can do 100, 200. The better score you have, the higher chance you're gonna have of getting your top marks. So, essentially, the higher marks you've got, the more confident you can be of getting a higher ranking. The lower score, the more important it is to rank as far down as you can. But essentially you're gonna have a list of your rankings from your most preference right down to the bottom. And this includes your hospitals and what rotations you're on. Important to think here is locations of hospital, what career you're thinking of going into next, so what do I want to taste of an experience? Thinking about what are the hours of working like? Am I gonna be doing night shifts? Am I gonna to have to be doing weekend shifts? So there's a lot to think about and it's very important that you spend a fair bit of time ranking these because obviously these are two-year contracts so whatever you're given that's it. Once you've racked you got to the end of final year and you have only the small hurdle of passing finals. So this is the final examination of medical school and this incorporates all the knowledge you've gained in your past five or six years. This will involve clinical cases, typically multiple choice answers, single best answers in a scenario and this can range from differential diagnosis, investigation, management, examination findings, 
ranging from all specialties you've covered. Hospital medicine, surgery, and all the different specialities you can expect range from every different system in the body. Following the application for your EPM around March, you get your allocation rankings, and then come April, you're given which hospitals you're gonna be working at. After that, you've got a small task of doing finals, and that's it, easy done. You've passed final year, and you're gonna be starting as a junior doctor. Thanks for watching, my name's Harris. Enjoy.